What's up everyone, John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here. We're hearing a lot about the raw processing horsepower found in the iPhone 4, but it's actually the same processor that's found in the iPad. So I thought it could be fun to put these two devices head to head and see which one is faster to prove an unscientific test. So we'll test app speed and web browser speed on both Wi-Fi and 3G. So let's jump right in and start with browser tests on Wi-Fi. The iPad is not running iOS 4, so it doesn't have multitasking yet. It's an older version of, I guess, what's now iOS 3. Uh, the iPhone 4 does have multitasking, but let me show you that everything is closed with the one exception of the web browser, which we're just about to open. So we've got a uh, YouTube channel, youtube.com slash john4lakers, queued up on each. We're going to do a simple refresh. This is a page that has been visited before on both devices. So consider it a simulation of a site that you visit on a regular basis. Let's go ahead and check the speed. So go ahead and do a refresh on each. You get go ready to hit there and go ready to hit here. And they're off at exactly the same time. And it looks like the iPad's got a bit of an early edge. Well, the iPhone looks like it caught up. And the iPhone finished just a little bit before the iPad, not much, maybe about half a second uh, in favor of the iPhone, which does, by the way, have twice the RAM of the iPad. So it does seem to maybe be having a little bit of effect. So next, let's go ahead and check out Techno Buffalo and see if we get a speed increase here as well. Let's get it queued up on each. And we've got everything ready to go. So we've got it ready to go here and ready to go here. And we are off loading technobuffalo.com on each. So loading YouTube, the iPhone was a bit faster. Let's see if those results are duplicated here. Uh, iPad finished a little bit earlier over the iPhone here, actually noticeably sooner, so maybe about two seconds earlier uh, for the iPad. So let's see if that holds true over 3G. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn Wi-Fi off and I'm gonna do this on camera so you can see that there's no funny business going on with anything here. Open up settings. And we're going to kick Wi-Fi off. So we'll go back to just 3G speeds. And we're going to do the same here on the iPad. I'm going to go ahead and turn cellular data on. And we're going to turn Wi-Fi off. And we're going to see if there's any sort of difference here. So I've got five bars of 3G service on the iPhone. And the iPad is going to tell me how many bars of service I have in just a moment as it connects to AT&T's network. And we'll see if there is a difference over network to network. So right now, the results are sort of inconclusive. The iPhone loaded one page faster, and the iPad loaded the other faster. All right, so we've got both devices now connected to AT&T's 3G network. And let's go ahead and see if there's any difference. So we'll load the same web pages once again. So we've got four to five bars of 3G here on the iPad and five on the iPhone. So pretty close. I'm going to go ahead and close down the settings here so it's pretty even. So we're just dealing with web browser. So we've got technobuffalo.com queued up again on each. Let's go ahead and do a refresh. And we'll see if there's any speed difference here. All right, they're both hit at the same time. Definitely slower loading than on Wi-Fi, but they appear to be almost exactly the same spot. Maybe the iPhone's got a slight edge. It looks like the iPhone is holding that slight edge. I feel like I'm announcing a horse race. And it looks like the iPhone is going to finish a bit earlier. Perhaps iPad's making a comeback. iPhone is done and the iPad is still loading. So now we're about five seconds past. So about seven seconds uh, between the two, the iPhone being faster. Let's try one more web page and see if there's a difference. We will go back to the YouTube channel and see if that affects anything at all. There we go. YouTube. And we'll just load up regular YouTube.com here and see if there's any sort of difference. All right, hit at the same time on each. And this website has been loaded on both devices as well. Here it looks like the oh, iPhone finished again earlier than the iPad. So in a web test, out of the four tests we ran, uh, the iPhone finished faster. And that is pretty representative uh, of what I've seen. Uh, the iPhone is just very fast for web browsing. In this case, uh, a little bit faster than the iPad. So let's see if that holds true for program applications. So let me go ahead and shut down this. And we'll try to open up the same programs on each and see if there's any sort of difference. So let's start with the same Twitter application. We'll start with Twitterific and see if that is any sort of speed indicator. Hit that. That was not scientific. I hit it the wrong time. Try that one more time. There we go. 
It looks like it loaded up first on the iPhone again, and a little bit later on the iPad. Let's go ahead and try opening up the App Store and see if there's any difference there as well. So it's connecting and again faster on the iPhone than it is on the iPad. Actually noticeably so. Alright, next let's go ahead and try and open up settings and see if there's any difference here as well. It's just sort of a simple application that lets you control what you've got going on on your phone. Uh, about the same there uh, for settings. And we will try one more. We'll try opening up, let's say, iTunes, which does look different on both devices. And again, this is still now over just 3G, so it may be a little bit faster here. So it looks like it connected first to on the iPad. So overall, in majority of the test, it looks like the iPhone was a bit faster than the iPad, which is very interesting. I don't know if this is going to impact any of your purchase choices, uh, but I thought it was sort of a fun and informal test to run. Anyway, I am John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.